How do we differ from those in the high street? We're all pharmacists, essentially. And probably what the real difference is is our patient mix. Patients in hospitals are acutely unwell, so their needs are very, very different. They need to get their medicines in different routes. We often need to decide which medicines are best for them. They come in, they may be very, very unwell, they may have acute cancer or requiring acute surgery. And so how they administer medicines vary. They often can't consent to how they take the medicines, so we have to often have to make that decision for them. Most of us come and see patients every day, review their medicines, uh, review the dosing, find if there's any medicines that interact or don't mix with each other. It's very helpful having pharmacists on the unit as part of our team, especially this winter when we had the swine flu epidemic all over the Christmas period. We were under a lot of pressure. They were very sick patients requiring a lot of medications. The powerful medications we use have substantial side effects and often very narrow therapeutic windows. Um, and the way they're given is often complex. And so with the best will in the world, there's always a potential for error. And so designing systems, putting in place guidelines and protocols and providing support to all the staff to minimise and hopefully uh, elim eliminate entirely that potential for error is really a very important aspect of what the pharmacists do. Here at Guy's and St Thomas's we're a specialist centre for kidney disease or renal failure and so we see a lot of patients with long-term kidney problems. The pharmacist helped me greatly when I was in the ward last time. They supply me with all the drugs regularly as prescribed by my doctors. They helped me very greatly and I appreciate that. As well as being patient facing and on the wards and in clinics, we also have pharmacists working in production, um, producing injections, creams, lotion and chemotherapy for patients. Typically a uh, large teaching hospital uh, like ours We'll see anywhere around 30,000 inpatient admissions a year. Uh, we see about 700,000 outpatients. There's about 7,000 babies delivered in this hospital each year. Some patients aren't able to swallow tablets, for example, some very young children or people that have had a stroke and have swallowing difficulties, and therefore we need to give them medicines in either liquid form or injectable form. Children are very different in terms of medicine practice, and it's important that we one, get the doses right, but also get the formulations right for those children. Adults are virtually all the same size, you could argue, and therefore they all get the same dose roughly. They only go from, say, 40 to 120 kilos, therefore only three times difference in weight. Paediatrics, 0.5 kilos to 50 kilos, therefore you're looking at 100 times difference in weight. And therefore, it's very, very important that the doses are sorted out so that they actually get the correct dose. Patients can be admitted uh, at any time during the day or the night and so we provide a 24-hour pharmacy service where there's a pharmacist on site uh, to answer any immediate queries. Equally, uh, because of this, it's important that we keep a appropriate stock holding of medicines so that we don't run out of medicines both during routine uh, care but also in case of uh, a major incident or major accident. Medicines are the largest health intervention and pharmacists play a critical role in ensuring the right medicine gets to the right patient at the right time. Pharmacists in our institution work across all areas. They're on the wards looking after children and critically ill patients. We formulate medicine for specific patients. We provide medicines information to patients and our colleagues in the NHS.